Hello there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome back to Legacy Studio, another episode of Firmament. Oh, boy. I left you on a cliffhanger, hopefully, uh, where we are about to figure out what happens when we open up the vats and allow the acid to run into our acid uh, pools here. So, if that doesn't make any sense, then you got to catch up with us on all the other episodes of Firmament. A lot of good stuff happening. Before we get started here, Tony Allen, Sean Hammond, my amazing legacy historians. Thank you so much to these guys. And, of course, all of these amazing people, my Dorka and early access historians. Thank you so much for supporting my channel uh, and for being here even when I'm not. You guys are absolutely incredible. I love you all. Thank you so much. Let's get to work. we got stuff to do. So let's go ahead and get into our screen and uh, do what we've been wanting to do here, which is open up the pools and fill this thing. Here we go. Okay. Oh, look at this. Whatever's going on here, just shut off all the power. Look at all the water running out. Okay. I found it interesting that it did actually shut down all the power as it's filling these. I'm wondering if we're supposed to do something over here next. Oh, it's done. Maybe not. Take a look, though. Oh, I hope I don't have to mess with that again. That would stink. So that is at its lower level now. I wonder if that means that our... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so here's, here's my knee-jerk reaction. I'm wondering if the water over here is low enough now. Oh, that's a good question. We have all that is required. Oh, really? Is that is that a new one? Or is that or is that, I I don't know if we Is that a new one? That might not be a new one. And when I'm I'm talking about the the guy who's talking. I I feel like that was a new a new a new thing. Like, hey, guess what? We got it all. You're done. It's a bull. Um <laughs> I don't know. So I need to, uh, I got the chills. I need to get out of here. Oh, it's closed. Oh, I'm locked in. Why am I locked in? Because we don't have power. We don't have power because the, okay. So oh, I could do that. I could do that. Do I need to do that? Let me do this. This doesn't feel right, but I'm, I might I might do this anyway. It feels too easy. I feel like I'm supposed to do something to power all this back up again. But um, let's go to the Jewelston Reservoir and take a look at what we have going on here. So, kind of want to save... Um, can't save, of course, because I'm in the middle of uh, transferring to Jewelston Reservoir. Okay, this is going to get interesting. I really feel like I'm almost to the end of this game. And if that's the case, it was a rather quick game, but at the same time, I mean, it took us, what, 13, 14 episodes? I mean, it took us a while. Let's see what's going on up here. Did I step on you, Sam? I'm sorry. Let's see here. No, it's still the same. But, but, I wonder, if I was to come over where? I need to go over there, I think? Yeah, over there. Okay. I have an idea. Let me, whoa, glitchy. Let's come down here. And we're going to take the... Oh, I bet you I can't even use the elevator. 
I bet you this is shut down. I bet you that I have to go and reset the system. Yep. Uh-huh. No power. Oh boy, I get to go play with the power circuits again. That's so much fun. I hope it's not that stupid. Oh, I don't like messing with this. Okay, so... This was a mess to set up last time. 115 volts. Total voltage 165. So I turned it back on. No, I didn't. So why is it wrong now? It reset everything? And I need to remember how... How do I check? That was the question was, how do I check what the output is of what we have? Up here? So I have to make changes and then come up here and check them again? Total voltage 165. Hmm. So it needs to be recircuited. How did I do this before? What if I came here? And I turned this to the left. No circuit. No circuit. Oh, I hate that I gotta do this again. This just... Kinda stinks. Kinda stinks. Mm. So, this one doesn't have any power because it's not touching any of the circuits. This one is, but that's not where the circuit starts. The circuit starts on the other side. So, I can do this, which is fine, but I need this one. Can I turn this one? No. Do I need to disconnect from here? Hmm. I was about to say I wish I could see this from up above, but technically I can. I think that's kind of the point of this thing. Being able to see it from up here. Zero, well, boy, you sure can't see much, can you? Okay. So we have zero circuit. Hmm. Leads to that one, leads to this one. This is the problem ish because that one isn't over here. So let me go back. Ah, this stinks. Okay, so it smells like acid. I didn't mean that. <laughs> 
in any way other than acid. <laughs> Yipes. Okay, let's see. Um. Oh, I can rotate them. I didn't realize I didn't have to be on them to rotate them. That's nice. But, how close do you have to be? I think it's not there. I mentioned in my previous video that um, I only got about three hours of sleep last night, give or take, and so I am very, very tired um, this morning at 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, let me see. This one needs to stay there. So where's... Oh, okay, this one goes here. Alright, and then this over here. Oh, oh, stop. This one can't move, huh? I find it interesting that it can't move. Why can't it move? Oh, I wish I could reset this to square one. Hmm. This is weird. Oh, excuse me. This is weird. And I'm afraid to mess with it too much. Let's see what this does. It, it's not connected. No, I want you to go the other way, actually. Do, don't I? Or was that what I was looking for? I don't see... Let me check. I don't see any circuitry... Oh, wait. Is that, is that actually on? I really can't tell. Um, I can't even get over to it, can I? Can I somehow touch this and... Okay, voltage, 35. Okay, so we are getting power. Not much, but we are getting some kind of power. So now I need to figure out how to... That one can't move. This one can. But do I want to move it? I don't think I do. I only need 115 volts. So... Let's do this. I need to get over onto that one. Can I do that with this? There we go. Because I want a better understanding of what this is doing. Okay, so... That one's not on, but this one should be. Okay. So, I guess one of these stands for 35 volts. Let me, let me think through this. If one stands for 35 volts, 30, 60, 90, 120, 35. 35 times 3? 30, 30, 60, 90. That's like 110. So, these might have different meanings, unfortunately. That's not what I want to hear. But, 
we'll see about this in a second. So, where's the circuit start and finish? This is it. Circuit comes here, doesn't go anywhere else, and finishes here. So, what if I was to, instead, um, we are sending power here. So technically, wouldn't we be sending power here? But it's not a completed circuit. So we need to make a completed circuit by rotating this one this way. Hi, Zozo. Good morning. Yeah, I need to get you guys some food, don't I? Don't worry, I'll do that in a bit. I was wondering why I felt something on my arm. Okay, so let's do this. No, you're going to turn one more for me, I hope. Okay, cool. Alright, so now we should have this going on. Alright, so we're going to now extend the other side, I think. Um, why do I keep getting stuck? There we go. I keep bumping up against something. Alright, so we got current going here. Right above my head, okay. And then this one, I want to go this way, and then this way, and then this one. I want to leave that where it is, I think, actually. So wouldn't I then want this one to... Nope, not that way. I hope I don't need that one. So let's do this. Turn this this way. And one more. Okay. Alright. Okay, and then this one we turns this way. Good. Alright, who farted? <laughs> <laughs> One of my dogs just farted. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's then turn this one this way. Something seems wrong with this. Hi, Zozo. Yes, I know. I know. It's exactly 7.30, which means it's time to eat. And so, of course, you guys want your food on the minute. And that's not what we're going to do today. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me check over here. So, we still have that one. Okay. Anything coming out on this one? Okay. Alright, so my problem is somewhere here. So, not what I wanted to do. we did this completely this way and basically reversed everything. So that one connects here. And then this one will need to go around this way. Okay, then that one can go this way. Alright, um... Not what I wanted to do. There we go, right. No, come on. There. Boom. Okay. Alright, now this guy here, 
turns this way. And then this one turns. No, wait, no. This one turns this way. Interesting that we don't have a connection yet. This one. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Great. All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. I have no idea where that song came from. It's so annoying. Alright, let's turn this one. So maybe I got everything backwards? If that's the case, then what if I did this? Oh, I can't go either way. I, I would think that I could at least turn to the... Yeah. Okay. So what if I reversed this one? where my circuit actually is <clears throat> and 70 volts okay how about if you turn over here now and then you tell me what my measurement is now nothing no circuit because you have to close the circuit apparently which that was almost there interesting that I had a connection there. So let me do this. I want to turn this back and I want to look at what my circuit actually is. So this goes to this one and that goes to this one which then goes to this one. So that's it. Not much of a circuit. So if I want to bring more into the circuit, what if I rotate this in And then instead of this one, uh, oh, no, wait a minute. Instead of this, we're going to, okay, hang on. Can I, like, just turn all of these 90 degrees away from us? So that one there, can I reach that one? Not really. It's too easy. Okay, so instead of this one, I want this guy. Am I thinking through this carefully enough? This one is lit. So if I. Stop. If I do this. That should take the circuit out to here, and then this one, if I was to rotate that one out, and then rotate this one twice in, technically we're almost closing the circuit here. This might close it. Okay. 105. So I just need 10 more. Um, 
So what if I was to, instead of that, what if I rotated this one outward? Okay, which means this one will need to rotate outward. And this one would probably benefit from rotating outward, or no, come on. Oh, maybe that's actually correct. Because that's where we need to connect. And then this one would rotate inward. And technically that should complete our circuit. And now we see what we have. 155 volts. So now it's overpowered. Um, and if it's overpowered, then that would mean that we need to reduce it. So what if I closed this one off? What do we have now? Still 155 because that wasn't part of the circuit. Okay. Now... Okay, so this goes to this, goes to this. So how would we reduce this? Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Okay. Hmm. All right, so. This is applying too much of a circuit, so let's disconnect these. We test. So this will probably give me 105 again. 105. Now. My theory is one of these over here needs to be connected. And if that's the case, we can probably pull the same trick that we did a second ago. Um, where we would have to rotate this one out. Because I'm wondering if these are lesser power circuits. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, and we're going to rotate this. Here, this one needs to rotate outward. Oh, or inward? Alright, um... This one needs to rotate towards me. And technically, is that my circuit? Okay, what do we got now? 125. Okay, that one I don't think matters to us. Okay. All right. So this is part of the circuit. Why is this one part of the circuit? Hmm. Okay. I don't think we need this as part of the circuit. If I was to tur turn this one Everything's connected through there. What are we at now? 90. 90. And then... So I'm basically rotating everything out and then rotating them in as I need them. That's my theory right now. Okay. Let's 
still at 90. Okay. 140. Let's move this one out of the way now. And technically, this one should be able to move out of the way. But I want to get off of it until I have more of a clue. So we're going to rotate that. So all of these are disconnected. So I like to do this so I know that they're disconnected and that there is no sense of confusing things. This one as well would be good to do. Okay, right here. And over here. There we go. Okay, so those are all off. So my circuit right now stands thusly. <laughs> uh, and also is overpowered. Right now overpowered. So... Why is it overpowered? I basically made a full circuit out of the full square here. So if I was to want to reduce this by one or two, I could simply grab this and rotate it, and we should have a new voltage. 120. Okay. So we've reduced this down to this circuit. Now, what if instead we introduced this one into the circuit by bringing this over bringing this one over. Okay. So now we can introduce this one piece just by turning this now, technically, I think. So, let's see what we get now. It should be like 175, one something. It'll be big. 155, okay. So we were at what, 120? And we're at 155 now, so we've introduced 35 more. <sighs> Excuse me. If it takes two to get 35, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Unless they have different voltages. So that is the problem I'm facing now, is that these could stand for different voltages. Um, let me also do this. So, what are we at now? 105. 105. So, what if we rotated, um, this back into the circuit? One twenty five. Okay. One twenty five. And this is the circuit coming out this way, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay. 
Not what I meant to do. So every time we do this, we introduce two more, don't we? What's divisible? Oh, that's an interesting thought. If each one of these represents... Hang on, something stupid just came to my head. How many of these are here grand total? This might be kind of hard to tell, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oof. Alright, I think that would kind of tell us that these are different. So twelve. One fifteen divided by twelve, or one fifteen divided by twelve. It's nine point five eight, so they're definitely different. And I have no idea what each circuit um, stands for. So red circuits are going to be certain ones versus yellow, blue, and green. So, hmm. 125. So basically, when I did this previously, I um, must have... What what forced force worked it? What it whatever the whatever the term is for that um, forced the puzzle. And admittedly, I'd be okay with forcing the puzzle right now too. Um, okay, so. One seventy five. We care for our world. That one's connected back there. So let's introduce this one this way. Okay. 170. So somehow that represents 5. Somehow. Not sure how. Um, so if I was to remove this from the circuit, maybe that would fix it. Let's see. One twenty. Technically, I need to take away five, and I would be done. To do that, wouldn't that ent uh, entail removing this, removing this part of the circuit, and leaving one left? So instead of having all these connected, I would need to do something of this nature. Hmm. That's not going to do anything yet. Because my theory would be, instead of that... Oh, how would we do this? How would we do this? This is connected here, and I want that one connected especially. Okay, so what would need to happen is this one would need to go this way, and that one... Um, no. Yes? No, yes, no? What if we... rotated this one out? And completely around? This one... Nope, not what I want. Let's 
see what it's at now. No circuit. Which I already knew that, but all the same. So let's turn this one more. And... Hey, alright, we got circuit. What do we got? 135? 90. So we're underpowered, which technically I think is a good s situation here. Um, what if we introduce this one now? One twenty five, because that one's not in the connection. This circuit is in. But what if I was to instead of which one do I have? This one? Okay. What if I removed that part of the circuit? by rotating this one this way. Ninety. So I need about fifteen still. And I think having these activated was a benefit to us. So, because I think these represent like five apiece. So if I activate all of these, what do we have now? 120. So somehow I need to remove... So I'm going to leave that entire circuit on. So what if it was 5, 10, 15, and 20? And Oh, um, no, I can't turn those. Something has to be connected to here. So it's either that one or this one. Voltage 170. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. So that stands for fifty. So by adding one, two, that is twenty-five a piece. So red stands for twenty-five. And this is the numbers I should have had forever ago. But all the same, hey, I'm I'm, I'm getting there. Get one of my business cards, which I shouldn't write on, and I should actually use for business purposes. But what do you do? Oh, uh, you're fine, Sam. I'm just reaching for stuff. So red stands for 25. Boy, that's a very dead marker. All right. Phew, it sure doesn't smell like it, though. Good heavens. <clears throat> so if red stands for 25, we're at 120 right now. Hi, Zozo. Yes, I'm working on it, I promise. you got to give me a few more minutes. Time's about up on my on my recording. We're almost done. So what if it's 25, 15... I'm at 120 right now. And for each one, you actually add two. So what if I did this instead? This would take us too high, I think. So we have no circuit. Yeah, this one would kill the circuit. It would overpower it. Let's see. Do I have any kind of reading now? 175. So... Okay. 
20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, so that was 55. 55. 120. So, do these represent five? So what if I added this guy in? To remove him from the circuit, actually, we would go like this. And then this one would rotate the wrong way. So we do have a way to insert a single one, basically, with this internal fuse, or internal, whatever this would be called. So maybe if I just do this, and I introduce the central one, what do we got now? 115. Yay, I forced it. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't mind. So let's go ahead and get this some power. We have done it. 115 volts. We are alive and kicking yet again. And that's going to do it for this episode. I got to go feed my dogs before they have a hissy fit. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Keep it crispy. First Tim 412. I'll see you in the next video. Good heavens. At least we're almost there, so it would seem... I have a feeling we're going to be wrapping up this uh, game here fairly soon. In saying that, let me give you a verse of the day. This is from Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning, and great is your faithfulness. All right, I'm going to go feed the pups. <laughs> and I'm going to have more coming your way right here on Legacy Studio. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. See you later.